Hello everybody, this is BSCAT100 and welcome back to some more Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations 2 Prosecutor's Path, The Forgotten Turnabout. In the previous episode, we had found K, met up with Mr. Shields, and gotten a little bit more information on the entire case in general. Also, we're trying to avoid the police and media. <laughs> In this episode, we are going to put two logic points together and investigate the hidden 51st floor that we have just discovered. If you like what you see, leave a like down below, comment if you have anything to say, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and share with your friends so they can join in on this investigation. I also have here with me, uh, Victoria. <laughs> That's what I am. Victoria is with me Sorry. again. So, now that we have all that introduction stuff out of the way. I'll just casually be here. Yeah, just... I mean, you won't be seeing this for a while. Yeah... Two. An extra floor between the 50th floor and the viewing platform. Why didn't anyone notice it? Normally, you notice it. I mean, how can you hide an entire floor? That's where the problem lies. Not... Not one... No, uh, one. no one noticed something that should have been easily noticeable. In other words, it must be impossible to access the 51st floor th through normal means. I see, maybe there's a secret portal at- you're- you're- you're on the edge there. Okay, now's not the time to be thinking with portals. Is that supposed to be a reference to portal? Shrug. Because I know the my, uh, the uh, Phoenix Wright series loves to make references like that. I'd, li I'd like you to recall the hatch at the base of the cherry tree. Isn't it normal to assume there's a room on the other side of the maintenance hatch? Huh. Uncle Ray likes where you're going with this. Let's hurry and check it out. There. We go. Oh, apparently that that took a lot of energy out of him. There. We go. Now let's see. This is... Looks like there's a lot of stuff down here. Is this what they call a storeroom? There's no doubt about it. There's where Kay fell down. Of course, and with this mystery, with this the mystery is solved. No, not yet. We still have the mystery of the person in the red hood who was walking in midair. No, no, le no. Let's look greedy. Let's not get greedy, shall we? we? Found the storeroom, so let's wrap things up here. I suppose you have a point. Hmm. It does seem to warrant an investigation. Yay! Uh, yeah, I get the bar back at the end of an investigation. I want to say that's Francisca. Well, if it just isn't Miles Edgeworth. No, oh, what the fuck, Emma? I don't have a voice for you. Emma, what are you doing here? Oh, you want me to? Alright. I heard about the case from Detective Gunshu. Since I was already in the area, I thought I might as well check out the, cr the crime scene. I mean, you're going to be Emma when we do the other thing anyway, so... Oh, okay, nice. <clears throat> this girl's name is Emma Skye. She's a high school student studying in Europe to become a forensic scientist. She's the youngest sister of my former boss and a witness in one of my trials two years ago. The dad of Gumshoe told me everything over the phone. He sounded really upset. He said you lost your badge at the Grand Tower and Kay became a mummy! Damn it, Gumshoe! Please calm down. I thought you left for Europe just a few days ago. Don't tell me you've come back already. Yep! And I brought my teacher from abroad, too. He needed an interpreter, so I volunteered to help. If your teacher cannot speak English, why are you with him why aren't you with him right now? He can still communicate with people! Don't underestimate the importance of body language! That doesn't really count as a language. But enough about that! What happened to Kay? Is she alright? My my, what a good friend. Isn't, isn't this great, Kay? Yeah. Um, who are you? Are you Mr. Edgar's new assistant? The irony. <laughs> On the contrary, my dear. I'm Ray Shields, head of the Edgeworth Law Offices. Edgeworth Law Offices? Wait, you mean the like defense attorneys? Mr. Edgeworth, when did you beco suddenly become an attorney? N no, it's not like that. Now that I think about it, it is a rather complicated working relationship. Don't sweat the details. Let's start out with an introductory hug. Ray, fuck off! <laughs> Why'd you become a defense attorney, Mr. Edgeworth? 
Hey, don't just ignore me. Bitch, I will. <laughs> because I don't approve at all. Um, well, why don't we continue this conversation down below? That's right, the police could arrive any second now. Hmm? Mr. Edgeworth, who's she? I I'll explain later. First, we have to go down the hatch. Ah, okay. Guess I'll be joining the prosecutor defense team? I I'll explain about that too. Alright, go and take care of everything. <laughs> well then, let's go, go, go to down to the storage room. Damn it. We were like two minutes away from the end of the segment. Ah! What? This always happens in recordings. We were like two minutes away from the save point. Uh... <laughs> oh well. Feel free to call me over if Emma speaks again. Mm hmm. April 5th, 7.06 p.m. It's pretty dark down here. Can't see a thing. What's your footing, Emma? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll just stay. Ouch! I think I hit my head. Okay, be careful not to slip. Take your time coming down. Uh, okay. Hmm. Light switch should be somewhere around here. Push! Th this is... The hidden 51st first floor. It was being used as, as a storeroom. We need to investigate it thoroughly. Mr. Edgeworth, please tell me about the case. Right then. Uh, right then. Where should I begin? Time uh, lapse. I see. This is certainly a serious situation. Why does she look like she's having so much fun? <laughs> 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 Looks like you're in a bind, prosecutorial attorney, Edgeworth. I'm not a defense attorney, nor is there such thing as a prosecutorial attorney. This looks like a job for science! Damn it. <laughs> Don't you worry, I've got everything here in my bag. Are you sure you're up for this, Emma? Of course! So once again, it's good to be working with you, Mr. Edgeworth. And I'm glad to be working with you as well. Yay. Looks like we've got ourselves another cute as- as Fuck off! <clears throat> <clears throat> so what's the plan? That lift looks pretty suspicious to me. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks like it goes down. I am curious as well, but first we should investigate this room. Okay, if you find out anything, be sure to tell Uncle Ray. And if I remember something, I'll let you know. Yes, please do. Emma? Roger! I'm ready to support! Well then, let's begin the investigation. Oh yeah! Honestly, Rep. that that is so me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a person of science. First thing that caught my eye is this thing, because this was in a previous case. Oh, yeah! Oh, shit! Yeah, I remember you remember that. that one. It's the one with the sleeping pilot. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Whatever. Yeah. This statue. Yes! Is this some sort of new fact? No. This is evidence from a case that I was previously involved in. I believe it was called the Alice Red Statue. There were supposed to be two of them, one real and one fake, but no matter which one this is, it's unnatural for it to turn up in a place like this. Mr. Edgeworth, you've really seen a lot of cases, huh? Water? Oh! Are you fucking kidding me?! Who the fuck is that? A reporter that will not go away. Oh. Ugh! I got me a scoop! Eek! Gah, my eyes! Stop it! Y'all ain't getting, getting away from Great Lot's camera that easily. I reckon y'all must be criminals. I'ma snap 16 shots before y'all say cheese. Oh, oh, we're not criminals! Really? Y'all ain't, ain't fooling my camera with those... Uh, camera of justice with those words. Hmm, you are... Huh? You're... Ain't you the heinous prosecutor from back then? Who would call... Mm, who you calling heinous? This is lots of heart. This is a photographer I've dealt with during my past cases. I've seen her distinctive accent and Chatterbox mouth hasn't changed a bit. 
Just look at that face. You're obviously up to no good. Seems he has a bad impression of us. Now it's time for, for you to pay your dues. Stand still while I ph photograph y'all. We only came here to investigate. Lies. You think you can fool me like that? Mr. Edgeworth, she's not listening at all. She seems harmless. Let's just leave her be for now. Let's just that sidestep is, her. That is me. Don't you think it's kind of creepy how all these masks are lined up in such a dark place? Emma, are you not good with horror movies? No way! Horror movies are so unscientific! Yeah, she's literally me. <laughs> <laughs> so she's scared of them. They won't rest until blah 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 blah. What was that? Or rather, don't. Yeah. There he is. Eureka! The German ninja mask that Kay had with her. Perhaps it was originally attached to this hood. Hook. That sounds plausible, scientifically speaking. It, In other words, Kay came here? It's quite likely, but for what purpose? Maybe she was going to steal something from this place. A great thief who steals the truth, huh? No, I don't think we can answer that question at this time. Is that it? Is that all we needed to do here? <laughs> well, let's see. Does he say anything else? Yep, we're done here. Well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what, we, what else we got here. These are... What is it? The items displayed on this shelf here, if I rec recall correctly, they're all evidence from past cases that I was involved with. Oh. What are they doing here? My god. Hmm, I guess this would make the place that PIC's evidence storeroom, huh? Hmm. Hey, look, but they have also have numbers on them. It looks like it, they could be like auctions or something. It does look like they're being sold. Alright, call it right now. <laughs> Alright. Uh, these items should be kept in care of the police. Don't they keep evidence in the prosecutor's office? Only for current trials. However, once a verdict has been reached, the evidence is transferred over to the police department and stored in the evidence room. This is actually true in real life. This is true to fact. But it looks like the evidence has been stored here instead. There's no point in worrying about it for now unless you try to examine everything. It looks like some of the evidence have tags in front of them. And there are numbers written on the tags. Maybe they're the ID numbers of the evidence. No, based on how large these numbers are and how the nature and the nature of these items, I'd say these are prices. Called it. Hmm. Prices? If that's the case, wow, these are ridiculously expensive. She seems more concerned with the high prices than the legality of this whole affair. The evidence is on display. I should just inspect every what evidence. That's strange. Only this one spot is empty. But it still has a price tag, just like all the others. Indeed. Furthermore, there's there's a part of the cloth that is not covered in dust. Perhaps something was placed here not so long ago. I see. It sure seems like it. Hmm, but what could it have been? The star-shaped mark in the dust. I wonder. Could it be related to a certain piece of evidence? What do we have? Oh. oh. This dust pattern matches up perfectly with the base of the candelabra. It's likely that the killer got the candelabra from this very storeroom. This doesn't look good on Kay's part. Does that mean the candelabra was also a piece of evidence? It's quite possible. However, that is not the issue here. The murder weapon originally came from the storeroom. We must keep that in mind. Once again... Okay, so we're not done here yet. Oh, how cute! This stuffed animal was so fluffy! That's from Gold Lake. 
Right. Flashbacks. Mm-hmm. This is flashback to the first case in this game. Oh, wow. It should be in, in the care of the prosecutor assigned to that case right now. Why is it still sitting here in a place like this? Huh? This little guy's missing his left horn. Oh, mm, yeah. His left horn? I'm pretty sure it was already missing when I first saw it. Then this must be a defective product. I demand a recall! Now that I think about it, giving a broken toy to a country's president does seem a little strange. Oh, okay. This storeroom contains items to be sold, doesn't it? It's unfortunate, but the possibility seems quite high. I suspect some nefarious individual has been selling evidence here. And people actually pay money for this stuff? Apparently, some people do. The price tags are proof. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. What a cute doll! It kind of looks like the Steel Samurai. It's the Iron Infant, son of the Steel Samurai, and the Pink Princess. This was from the last case in the last game. Interesting. He was destined to become a hero of justice from the moment of his birth. So much pressure rests on his tiny baby shoulders. And yet he carries with himself with grace and dignity that <laughs> belies a toddler of his age. Hello, Mr. Edgeworth. Are you even listening to me? Hmm? Uh, uh no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Ink and a lab. Both are evidence that I've handled before. This is also from the last case of the last game. Of the previous game. Why is all this stuff here linked to you? Many of the items here are objects that I've handled in just a short while ago. These are all this is all evidence against my case in the PIC. But it's probably only a coincidence that they're all collected here. A coincidence? I never thought I'd hear you say that word, Mr. Edgeworth. Me neither. No matter how improbable, if it fits with the facts, then we must accept it as the truth. Isn't that the same as science? Aha! We should discuss science in detail someday, Mr. Edgeworth. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small bottle. I've, I've seen this piece of evidence before in the past. This was from... The flashback case. Um... What case was that? You probably saw the case. We remember when um, Francisco was very little and... Oh, uh, yeah. It okay. was from that case. Oh, okay. Interesting. Huh? Is that all? Uh, yes. What more did you want me to say? Um, I need to make a memo. Note to self. Even the most boring objects sound like the works of art when Mr. Edgeworth <laughs> describes them. Uh, don't read a memo like that out loud. The box. Box? No, 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 that's ink. No, I mean like the safe. Yeah, I tried. You can't click on it. No. Oh. This mannequin. I've got it. According to my scientific reasoning, this is something you encountered in one of your past cases, right? No, it's not. This is the first time I've seen this mannequin. Seems completely unrelated to the other objects in the room. There's no price tag in front of this mannequin either. So then why is it here? Now we're done. Good question. Scientifically speaking, this must be a wooden icebox. This chain is timed around it to keep the cold from escaping, probably. Or a body. No, Emma, wouldn't this be a costume trunk? It's made from wood that repels bugs in order to protect the clothes inside. Ah, I see, of course. That's another possible theory. If your clothes are stored in a cold place, it would be nice and cool to wear them to wear in the summer. I guess she's still sticking to her icebox theory. <laughs> There's a transceiver uh, sitting next to all these trophies. Seems like they were lined up together on purpose. Looks like it's still got batteries in it. Might come in handy later, so I'll pick them up for now. I'll be sure to put it to good use before I turn it into the police. That sounds just like what a certain great thief would say. Wow! Talk about bad taste. Oh, wrong wow. Uh, I've never seen such a gaudy desk before. Just what kind of person would use something like this? The tabletop is being supported by four naked men. The design is quite... No way! Are they really going back that far to the first game? Jesus Christ. It certainly is in poor taste. 
Maybe this is also related to one of your past cases. No, none of the cases I I handled involved a person with so. Are you sure, Edgeworth? If I recall correctly, that was the first case that you were involved in. Or at least I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. There's a huge stack of money piled up here. How unrefined. They're all $100 bills. Talk about big bucks. Huh? I oh, got yeah. logic. So, how many times your nearly your yearly salary do you think this is worth? Leave my salary out of this. No. What's this? It looks like a giant head. If I recall, this is uh this is the head of Mrs. Monkey. I believe it was from a case I was involved in in the past. Yes, yes it is. It's impressive how they were able to get such large objects into this room. Hmm, Miss Monkey, huh? Mrs. Monkey. That doesn't really have a nice ring to it. Maybe you remember the name wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> Impossible! That can't be true. Before we talk to Kay... Oh man, Uncle Ray's heart is pounding up a storm. Surrounded by so many cute... Mm -hmm. There's gonna be another murder case. Mr. Shields, please try to be more serious. Heh, <laughs> it was just a joke. Uncle Ray's keeping a close watch over little K, so you can continue your investigation without worry. You watching over K is exactly what I'm worried about. Jesus Christ. Yes, can I help with something? Okay, so we've... Oh god, we've run out of options. I think... Alright. <sighs> Let's... So, what, you, what are y'all folks doing in a specific place like this? I was about to ask you the very same question. Why are you here? For the people of the world, and for myself. I'm a, so, I'm a social justice photographer after all, so I gotta take photo after photo after photo of my big scoop. Seems I won't be able to talk to her normally when she's like this. Mm. We have not run out of options, I just remembered. From the price tags attached to the pieces of evidence, and that huge stack of cash, stash of cash. It's clear that the buying and selling of evidence was being carried out here. In the hidden 51st floor, evidence was being trafficked! This clearly means something! Seems further investigation is needed. About the detailing, about the dealings that went on in this place. If only there was a witness, so we could just ask them. A witness? No. <laughs> I don't want to! You gotta. Mm -hmm. So, why'd you come here? For the people of the world and for myself. I'm a social justice photographer uh, after just... all, I know. Social justice? Oh, that was different. Then allow me, to, uh, excuse me, then allow me to guess the reason why you came here. Was it perhaps to expose the illegal evidence trafficking? Oh, I get it. You were trying to get a scoop on the secret dealings. Huh, y'all know that much already? Well, if I reckon there ain't no reason to hide, it. well, I reckon there ain't no reason to hide anymore. My source tell me there's some kind of black market auction being held around these parts. What did you say? So then, all this evidence here is, yep, there, there are all the goods from uh, for the auction. It's a lot of dirty money flying around here. I want to try to catch it with my own two eyes. My source gave me a whole bunch of info, but I figured just hearing about it ain't enough. Seeing is believing, after all. So I've been staking out here. Out, uh, out the place from behind here, this here statue since yesterday. The act, the auction took place late late last night and went on till the early morning. Black, a murder on the night of black market au auction. Could the two events be related? Oh, why this song? Yeah. Black market dealings and the Grand Tower. I guess I, I really hit the muddle load this time. Were all the items in the auction piece of evidence? There was some normal stuff too, like stolen art and the like. I wouldn't consider stolen art to be normal, but I reckon the evidence was the star of the show here. The folks, uh, these fo um, these folks are law fanatics trying to get their hands on the latest goods from the police. 
So that's why you wanted to get pictures of Miss. Oh. What? Never mind. So that's what you wanted to get pictures of Miss Hart? Pretty much. They were meeting them right under this very storeroom. So I watched them up. Uh, so I watched them from up here. You said you were here since yesterday. Did you witness the entire event? It was a black market auction, after all. They followed a fairly detailed procedure. First, the participants entered the storeroom from the viewing platform one at a time. When they got in, each of them took their, each took one of the masks over in the wall there. Funny thing about those masks, they're all equipped with voice changes, itty bitty ones. That way, they wouldn't be recognized. They wouldn't want to protect. They would want. They want to protect their anonymity. Anonymity. But it's you mean their anonymity? Yeah, that's it. Their. Uh, oh God! I, I I can't even fuck up the fuck up. And not. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Okay. Why not just say I did see and make things easier on all of us? After putting on the mask, they go down the lift. What? And the next fella would come right in. On the way back, it was the exact same thing, but in reverse. They come up one by one, return the mask, and head up out of the storeroom. Wow, that's pretty thorough. Interesting. Hmm, how many participants were there? Eleven people all together. I counted each of them as they made their way down. Hold up. If there were eleven people, and K might have fallen down, the K would have been the, one of those eleven people. I was thinking that. Anyway. After, I'll have you know I wasn't just laid up behind the statue the entire time. Then where were you in the beginning? The beginning? Well, don't you worry yourself about that, you hear? So she was hiding behind the statue the entire time. I've watched folks come in while lurking in the shadows, all secret agent-like. Wouldn't the flash give you away? I guess. Or the click of the camera, for that matter? Note to self, secret agents like to lurk in the shadows. And then they used that lift over there to get down to the auction site. After they all went down, I watched the whole thing from the lift. Did that lift stayed down the entire time? Now I came back up. There was a tiny gap in the floor there. There's a bit of space between the floor and the lift platform, you see? So I could just see about everything that was going on down there. Then did you see the person who was conducting the auction? Uh, well, yeah, you betcha I did. What kind of story would this be if I didn't know who the conductor was? The conductor, huh? It seems I'll have to need to ask her for more details, like she'll give it to us. Do you have any more information about this so-called conductor? You know, I came here to get me a scoop. What makes you think I'll give up my info to your to your mill will Nelly? Basically, what you're saying is you don't know. Ah, I see. So that's why she won't answer. What can I say? I couldn't even tell how old they were if they were a guy or a gal. Could you tell me what the other person was wearing at the time? They had a white white jacket with a purple flower, and they were each white and they were wearing white gloves. But you know, that don't mean much when I have no earthly clue who they really are. So the conduct. Mm. Oh, that's me. So the conductor's identity was hidden, just like the participants. That's right. They held on a, a mask and voice changes, just like everyone else. What kind of mask did this person wear? It was a Zervan mask, I reckon. Zervan? What in blazes is that supposed to be? Mr. Edgeworth, you don't know about Zervan? He's a sworn enemy of the global hero. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn! On ya uh, I want to say on Yakupon. Yeah. Hang on. Zervan, the ruler of time. Seriously, who hasn't heard of him? Most people, I'd imagine. Since the conductor wore a mask, I assumed you were not able to see their face. Not even a teeny weeny bit. And after I came all this way for my big scoop. The whole story's turning out to be nothing but fool's gold. Oh. What? The suit of clothes seems familiar. Perhaps I should show her that piece of evidence. Our victim was wearing the same thing. Oh, not that piece of evidence. We just got that. 
Let me just say, if you're trying to grab my interest, you don't gotta bring me something that asks. Oh. Um, how Maybe about the, the autopsy? autopsy? <laughs> Hold on. Before I do. Nope. <laughs> nope. We're out of time. Alright, that's cool. So, we're gonna end it off here. In the next episode of Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations 2 Prosecutor's Path, The Forgotten Turnabout, we are going to show Lada the evidence and move on with the case. Even though now we know who the conductor is, or supposedly. See you guys later. Bye.